God today will be coming from the book of John, a very familiar passage of scripture coming from the book of John. Turn in your Bibles to the book of John, chapter number 10. And now as you're turning in your Bible, the book of John is found in the New Testament. So look at past the halfway point in your Bible, you'll see Matthew, Mark, Luke, and then John. John is one of the books known as the Gospels, yes. the good news. Yes. It tells us all about how Christ Jesus was born and came and died for the sins of the world. Yes. But it also lets us know that death was not the end of the story. Right. So the grave could not keep Jesus. Right. And as he stated that he would, he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. Power to save yeah. Yeah. a sinner like myself. Yeah. Power to save everyone yeah. in the sound of my voice. Yeah. Truly, we are, we are thankful unto God. Yeah. But turn to John chapter number 10, and the voice or the scripture for our reading today is John 10 10. All right. And the word of God reads The thief. The cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Right. I am come that they might have life right. and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah. Church, I want to talk to you for a moment from this thought. The ways of a thief. The ways of a thief. All right. So now, the book of John is very interesting when you consider the Gospels and, and John's approach, because every Gospel has a focus point. Right. Uh, but the focus point of the book of John is the deity of Christ, the Godness of Christ, yeah. if you will. And that's how when you look at John 1 and he comes in, he lets you know from the very beginning, he's not talking about Mary, he's not talking about Elizabeth, he's yeah. talking about Jesus. Jesus. And he takes us all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. And he says, in the beginning yeah. Yeah. was the Word. Right. Now the Word was with God and the Word was God. Yeah. The same was in the beginning with God. Now all things were made by him, by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Yeah. And then when he, when he was talking about the Word and the Word, and so, so some folks will say, well, what, what are you talking about with the Word? When we come to verse 14, he lets you know that the Word became flesh. Yes, okay, and the Word was Jesus. Yeah. 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 The Word that he was talking about was in the beginning, he was talking about that was Jesus. So some would look and say, well, Jesus didn't step on the scene until Mary gave birth. Mm -hmm. But John let it be known before there was a Mary, there was Jesus. Yeah. 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 Before there was an Adam, before there was an Eve, there was a Jesus. Yeah. 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 And so John's focus is to let us know the deity of Christ, the power of Christ, the godness of Christ. And so it's interesting because we don't mind recognizing that God is real. Amen. But oftentimes we fail to realize just how real Satan is. We don't even talk about the devil very much. Uh -huh. Even when we see evil in the world, we don't attribute it to Satan very often. Amen. We get mad at that person. All right. Amen. Amen. Somebody. All right. Amen. 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 This leader, that leader, this follower, that follower, right. and we very rarely say the devil is this. Amen. Amen. And sometimes, sometimes it's so interesting how Satan has managed to disguise himself and put himself in the background and in the shadow so well. Mm -hmm. Because if you even talk about the devil and Satan, some folks are looking at you like you're going crazy. Amen. 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 See, some folks don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. But there's a whole lot of, a whole lot of extra folks that if you start talking about the devil, they will show enough to get you crazy. All right. All right. You know, and that's just how well he has hid himself. All right. All right. All right. But the word of God compares Satan to a thief. That's right. And he lets us know that thief cometh not. So it don't say that he's not coming. Mm -hmm. But he's coming with a mission. All right. And the mission that he's coming with is, is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. 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 I can remember the words of my grandmother. Uh, another word, and I know some folks would not even probably have never heard this word before in their life, but some folks know what I'm talking about. And so then we were coming up, and my grandma would look at me and she said, Boy, a rogue 
Oh, so. Yeah. 
See, the thing that we got to keep our eyes on is the prize. Yeah. Which is the high calling of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. We got to focus on what Christ has to do. Yeah. You don't get caught up playing all these games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Life is not a game. Yeah. I'm going to say that one more time. Life, Life is not a game. Yeah, and only 
toy car. They had the car right by the door. And I was, I was even 10, I probably was about six years old. And I saw that little toy car, and I already knew my grandmother was not buying me another toy. She was really that money. Y'all know that talk when you were going to school? Don't ask me that. Say, wow, that's the same thing that Satan 
likes to do. But then something interesting happened. My wife said, well, you should go and do a review. Because, you know, like social media, now we do reviews on stuff. We don't have time so that other people can be aware of what these hustlers are doing. Yeah. And so I go to do a review, and then I started reading some of the reviews. Mm -hmm. And then when I read the reviews, I saw where multiple people said, yeah, I bought a car from that dealership. And after I bought the car, they called me back. So I financed the car, and about two or three weeks later, they called me back. And when I answered the phone, they said, listen, uh, the bank said we can't finance that car for that price. So in order for you to keep that car, you either have to give us $2,000 or you got to bring the car back. And I'm thinking to myself, can that even be legal? I've never heard of such. But the more I read it, I saw what people had been taking the cars back yeah. or giving the $2,000. But then this was the other kid. When he took the car back, the people said, thank you for bringing us the car back, but by the way, you cannot get your down payment back. So not only are we taking our car back, we also keeping your money. And so it's just a complete hustle and scam and scam. And I look at it, but that's exactly how Satan works. Yeah, yeah. Satan will make you switch. And then Satan will end up making you pay more on the back end than what you bargained for on the front end. Yeah. Yeah. You thought you was coming out of here. You thought you had a deal. But one thing that you can rest assured on, you don't make a deal with the devil and think you're going to Yeah. Approaches. One is the, they do this in marketing, the foot in the door approach. The, 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 the foot in the door. All right. And so what that is, is let's say a salesman comes to the house and he's selling items. Won't call out the items, he's just selling items. All right. And you went out to the door and you see he's selling something and you're like, you know what? I'm good. And as you get ready to close the door, <laughs> Well, hold up. You put your foot in the door and say, hold up. Now, I know you better not do that with Pastor Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us don't count for three. <laughs> but he put his foot in the door because he said, well, hold up. And then he said something to you to try to get you to go ahead and continue to entertain or listen to him. That's right. And Satan does that. There are certain things that God shows us. We need to close the door. Well, You need to close the door. Oh, yeah. But then Satan said, but well, hold up. Let me entertain you just a little while. Uh -huh. Some of us have relationships, going back to the first point, with the friendship approach. Some of us have relationships, they just need to end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But then you call the person, you tell them we got to end this relationship, and then as you get ready to delete the number out of your phone, some say, well, don't, don't delete. There's no need to have a number that you know we're going to use again, whether you know, you know, for, for a rainy day. It's just a rainy day. Rainy day. Just in case. Yes, yes. See them just in cases and a rainy day. Listen, when God said cut it off, yes, sir. Yes. I said, when God said cut it off, yes. cut it off, go ahead and leave it and move it. in the door. And then lastly, all right, oh, reciprocity. <laughs> reciprocity of course. So reciprocity comes from the word to reciprocate. All right? So what reciprocating is, is okay, if somebody does something for you, right. then you feel the need uh -huh. of the obligation uh -huh. to do something for them. Uh -huh. And so for reciprocity, they have a way they have to slide something in and get you, give you this. And then he said, okay, well, thank you for that. They said, no, no, let me talk to you for a minute. Uh -huh. Well, see, if they had just started off talking about, can I talk to you? Mm -hmm. You know, I got, I got things to do right now. You might have to catch me next time. Yeah. You know, but when you came over, they said, hey, 
he got you want to get that to you. Oh, that's so kind of you. Do you mind if I have a conversation for about two minutes? Dog, no, I just took this from him, so I kind of owe it to him to talk to him for him. See, Satan wants you to feel like you owe him something. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. So, 